Hi everybody, welcome to my very first YouTube video on this channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video, obviously. And I'm super excited to start this whole YouTube journey. I don't even know what the channel is going to be about, but my favorite YouTuber, Ali Abdal, says basically just upload that first video. doesn't matter what kind of video it is, and if you don't know where to start, just make a video about something that you own. So this is basically my version of that. And I'm not a watch expert, obviously, but I do want to talk about my favorite watch today. I'm not an expert. I don't know about the movements, the dials, the features, all of that stuff. But I do love wearing watches. I wear them all the time. When I'm not wearing one, I feel naked. So I used to wear this every day. This used to be my daily driver. Silver bands. Taking this on a couple of vacations. And they work just fine. Took them diving and stuff. Until my new watch came. And that was the iconic Casio F91W. It's a... It's an old watch. It's a well-known watch in the watch community. I'm definitely not part of that community, but um, I've heard that a lot of people love this watch, even though they can afford more expensive timepieces. It just seems like people who know about watches seem to have some sort of respect for this timepiece. It got me really curious. It's only $15. How come so many people like it? So I decided to get it for myself. It's only $15. I'm not going to be losing much if I don't end up liking it. When I got it, the first, my first impressions was that it was really light and it was really small. And basically there was nothing special about it at all. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. At first, I couldn't understand why people liked it so much. Like what made it so special? Started wearing it day one and then a couple weeks went by and then months went by. And suddenly this watch just became my favorite. But I think it just comes down to three things. And it's the size, the features, and the cost of the watch. So for the size of the watch, it's really small. 33 millimeters is the case size and the width of the bands are 18 millimeters. So definitely smaller than the dive watches I, I'm used to wearing. I never really noticed how big it was until I got this watch. Obviously it's a pretty big difference. I mean, look at that. The front to front, side to side, and I just realized my wrists are too small for dive watches. I feel like this, this fits my wrist better just because I have smaller wrists, smaller watch. I know a lot of people can pull pull divers off. I don't think I'm one of them. But look at that. It's just, this one's just way too big and bulky. Um, I, I still love it. I'll take it on vacations and stuff, but for everyday wear, I definitely like this. Another draw with the small size comes the smaller weight, lower weight, I mean. So after a few minutes of wearing it, you don't even notice that it's there. Put it on, forget about it. Forget about it. You can set a timer. No, 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 not a timer, a stopwatch and also an alarm. So my favorite would be the alarm. I would use it all the time. This is basically a $15 alarm. It's loud and it works every single time and it's super accurate as well because it's a quartz movement. It's never delayed or it's never, the time never changes. The advantage of having like an analog alarm like this is you don't have to rely on your phone constantly having juice. You know, you don't have to worry about your Alexa being disconnected from the internet, right? So with this, you just know you're going to be able to wake up every single day at the same time for work. So very, very handy for me because the Wi-Fi does disconnect sometimes. You also have like a mini backlight here. When you're in the dark, you can still tell what time it is. So the cost is only $15. You could probably find this a lot cheaper. Nothing special about it. That's why it's cheap. You can pretty much beat it up. Go do anything with it, really. If you work an office job, it's fine. If you work outside, it's fine too. It's $15. If you break it, you could just buy another one. Not to say that the watch is brittle. It's definitely durable in my opinion. It's almost a year now since I bought this and it's still going strong. I've been wearing it every day. It's been handling every single thing I threw at it really well. And it's actually also water resistant. So I had jobs in the kitchen where I wash a lot, a lot of dishes sometimes. So and this watch was fine after all of that. So those are pretty much the three main reasons why I think this watch is amazing. It does everything that you ask it to do. It's super cheap and also it's not nothing special. You know what, maybe that's the charm of the whole watch. There's so many watches today that are so complicated, so expensive, high maintenance and all that. Sometimes you just need something as simple as this. I don't know, I just came up with that just now. <laughs> There's really nothing special about this. And maybe that's why I'm super drawn to it. So that basically ends my video. 
Um, if you own one of these, tell me why you like them and how long you've had them. And if you don't have one, I suggest that you try it out for yourself. $15 or less, you're not gonna regret it. If you don't like it, you're not gonna lose much. So thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. And I'm assuming if you made it this far, you were slightly entertained or amused. It doesn't hurt to hit the like button down below or even hitting the subscribe button. So thank you so much for watching again, and I hope to see you on the next one.